chance to explain, I can... What are you doing? Roger, please, at least listen to me. You don't have to talk. I can explain everything. I, I know, I know it looked bad, but it's if you'll give me a chance, if you'll... You don't understand. Understand what, Delia? Go on. Tell me how the uh, commodities picture was so, uh, so desperate that you had to see your broker this afternoon. Make me understand how your financial situation necessitated you're going to his apartment. Now explain to me how the international market forced you into his arms half undressed. Or was he comforting you? Maybe the, uh, the rice report was so bad today. I mean, have you thought of that one? Roger. Well, I'm sure you have. Or maybe you're going to be more creative this time. Stop it! Don't do this! I know it looked bad, but it's not what you think. Roger. What are you doing? Nothing, really. You know, there's no reason for you to stay around if you want to I'm not go. going anywhere. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> are you kidding? Besides, we're still on our honeymoon. Are you okay? Sure. How's Ryan? Oh, she's okay, I guess. I don't know. You know, I... I just keep looking at her and trying to see if she understands what's going on. I don't really think that she does. But that's, it's good in a way. Yeah. Uh, I was in there playing with her and she started to laugh. And I heard something. It was something that I remembered. There's so much of Mary in her. It's almost as if. Of course. Why doesn't that help? Oh, it does. It, it does. Probably more than you realize. Listen, I've been watching your family today. Well, really, since I've known you. But, but today, I guess, it made me think of it more. You're all so much a part of each other. You don't have to say anything, but you oh. understand. And you keep going, no matter what. Yeah, that's huh. the way it is. And it's amazing. And it's what I want us to have. Oh, we do. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. But it's going to get stronger. It's going to be what you've always known. Children, a family. Someday. Soon. Well, it's hot. Go on now. Can I get your sandwich to go with it? No, thank you. I'm okay. How are you now? It was a lovely service. I'm glad we asked Cecilia to have a children's choir. Mary would have liked that. So many people, Lord. I don't know where they all came from. I didn't know half of them. But they all seemed to know Mary. So many. So much joy. I'm glad you were there. Yeah. And, Jack, I'm glad you're here. And there's something that I've been thinking about. I want you to consider. Whatever you want. No, no, dear, it's not that. I, I want you to stay with us for a while. Oh. Oh, now, we have plenty of room, and it really would be helpful to John and me. And good for Ryan and for yourself. I'm not talking about anything permanent now. 
Well, it's an offer and it stands. Naturally, you have to do what you think is best. Ryan can stay. Tonight? Oh, sure. I don't mean just for tonight. What do you mean? Ryan can stay. And you? I can take care of myself. Darling, I don't understand what you're saying to me. Sure you do. That little girl upstairs, she needs you, Jack. I guess I failed the Johnny Ryan father test. I'm sorry I don't live up to the great tradition. Oh, hush now, stop that. There's never been a test, there hasn't been, and there isn't one now. You know that. I don't want to look at her. That's not true. I can't. Jack, she's your daughter. And Mary's. Mary's dead. Yes. Excuse me. Yes, dear. Look, I thought that you should know. Uh, Ryan's awake, and she's asking for her daddy. Roger, please listen to me. Five minutes, that's all I want is five minutes. Here, you might need that. The rest of this will uh, see you through the next couple of days. You can pick up the rest of it anytime. Just make sure I'm not home first. You can't do this. Oh, no? You can't do this to me. To you. To us. I love you. I want to be with Unfortunately, you. Unfortunately, that's not an option at the moment. Well, if you just listen to me, you don't know what I've been through these past few months. Oh, that's true. I'm sure I've been very unfair. I'm sure it's been a very difficult time for you. Balancing your home life and your husband, your commodities, and your broker. You must be exhausted. Don't do this. I'm trying to explain to you. You lied to me, Delia. You? you lied to me over and over again when I gave you every opportunity to tell me the truth. When I wanted I more than... I really lie, not inside where it counts. I love you, and that's the truth. Did you or did you not sleep with Dan Fox? I tried not to. Delia, look at me. Look me straight in the eye and tell me you didn't sleep with Dan Fox. Oh, only two times. And I wouldn't have done that, Roger. In spite of everything, no matter what he threatened, even if he had foreclosed on Ryan's, I wouldn't have done that if you hadn't been having an affair with Ray Woodard. You knew? All those nights of complex back surgery and emergency medical consultations, where were you? Why don't you look me in the eye now, Roger? How could he have foreclosed on Ryan's? What did you mean? No, you can't do that. You can't change the subject. Now you lied to me. So, or even. Yes, I had an affair with Ray Woodard. All the time that you were moaning and wailing about your commodities. When every time I came home, you were in hysterics in the room. The apartment was like a pigsty, and I couldn't stand it anymore. Ray was a friend of mine, and she gave me what I needed. And yes, I did make love to her. But I told you that I lied to you, and I told you that I ended that affair as soon as I felt we had a chance to work things out. Now, what did you mean about the bar? You're trying to change the subject. Tell me! OK! I said you didn't know what I've been through these past few months, and it's true. It's been horrible. I lost all my money in commodities, and I got scared. It was all gone, and I was poor again. Poor old dumb Dee I can't do anything right. But I knew I could fix it if I just got a chance. And Dan offered to loan me $50,000, and I had to take it. I had to try to fix it. And the only collateral I had was the lease on Ryan's, and I knew it would just be for a little while, so I signed the papers. And then when I lost it, he started threatening me. He said if I didn't go to bed with him, he'd throw Johnny and Maeve out. And, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't sleep with him again, Roger, because I love you. So you see, it's been really awful. I wanted to tell you so many times. You have to understand. You idiot. Roger. You stupid, selfish little idiot. How can you say that? Damn you! Not only did you, was it bad enough that you risked our marriage, our life together, but you, you play games with people, anyone who happens to get in your way. I did it for you! I had to give him collateral so it would be business and the bar was all I had. What else could I do? I was scared. I made a mistake. We both made mistakes, but I forgive you. I understand. Why can't you? I did it for us. How 
long were you going to keep it up, Dee? Lying to me, keeping Dan happy, giving the Ryans one more day, just going on and on. Let's get out of here. No, you don't mean that. Pick up your bag and get out. What's going to happen to us? You're very resourceful, Delia. I'm sure you'll figure something out. It's nothing new to you. No, there's no place. Last time you were here, and you understood. Why can't you now? Find yourself a new savior, Delia. Try Dan. Apparently, he hasn't caught on to you yet. I don't want Dan. I don't love him. I don't even like him. You'll make do. No, Roger. You don't mean this. How can you be so mean? You said that you loved me. You were the only one. I'll kill myself. Oh, I was waiting for that. I mean it. You don't mean it. You don't even believe it yourself anymore, Dee. Of course you can go out and disappear in a park for a couple of days or find a ledge that you can go out and, and crawl out onto. And you're perfectly welcome to try, but save yourself a lot of time and energy because it's not going to work. It's not going to work anymore. I don't believe how cruel you are. Just stating the facts. You hate me. Goodbye, Delia. You love me. Get out of here. I said get out of here. Watch. Daughter's waiting for you, man. Ma. I'm fine, dear. I'm fine. He hurts so much. Yes. What do we do? I don't know. Just give him time, I guess, and try to understand as best we can. In the meanwhile. That man you saw sitting there is not a man that you have met before. I mean, he's had so many years of being alone, being angry and turning all his pain into himself. It's before your sister came into his life, before their child. He left that man behind. He will again. He has to. all right. You'd be safe here at your grandmother's. And you should take good care of you, not... You'd be all right. Look, I want to do something. Is there something that I can do? No, dear. Thank you. Just take care of yourself. Oh, I'm fine. Well, not yet, but we will be. Yeah. Look, I, I told Joe that I, I thought I should stay here tonight. Oh, darling. Well, it's okay. I mean, he understands. No, I'm sure he understands. But I want you to go home with your husband. Are you sure? Oh, yes. I can manage things here. I've got your father. I've got the little ones. I mean, they're a great help. Brian may be staying the night. She will be staying. Jack may be staying. I don't know. No, thank you, but. I promise you'll call me if you need anything. Ah, oh, of course, of course. She's uh, still awake. She's all right. She has her lamb. I, I told her that you'd take care of her. I gotta get going. Jack. No. I'm asking you to stay. I said no. All right, then, then take your daughter with you. Take her home. She needs you, and you need her. 
Don't ask me to do that. Please, Jack. Don't! Don't ask me. All right. She can stay the night, of course, and tomorrow, but this is not where she belongs. She belongs with her father. Ryan's home was where her mother was. She doesn't have a mother anymore. The best place for her is here with you. I can't give her anything else. Let me give her that. Jack. Jack. Are you feeling any better? Yes. I just wish that... Go on. No, I don't know. Tell me that everything's gonna be okay. Trust me. I do. I'm so lucky to have you. You bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really crazy about this place. Do you realize? We never discussed living arrangements. I just assume. Do you mind? No. <laughs> no. I love Brooklyn. And you. In that order? Alphabetical. Oh, quick, quick thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's a good place. Yeah. I think we'll be able to find something else, though, when we need it. Well, why should we do that? You're right. I could always add on another room. You should have seen this place before I renovated it. You're talking about children. Yeah. That makes twice today. Well, when you were in with Ryan, I was looking at those pictures on your parents' mantle, you know, those people I didn't know, aunts, uncles, grandparents. And so much a part of you and that continuity. I just realized how incredible it was. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Knowing where you come from, knowing that no matter what else happens in this world, you always have that to go back to. Except for Tizo. Uh, I've never known that. It's all new to me. I spent so long fighting it and running away. I guess I always knew that it was there if I wanted it. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to run away anymore. I'm not. They're going to be something, aren't they? Who? The kids. You're not following. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. You just, you make it sound like it's all going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> it usually takes a little longer than that. I'm serious. Well, so am I. What? I have got the feeling that you have been planning this, and I'm not quite sure where it's coming from. Well, we've talked about this before. Sort of. Well, you want children, too. Well, I think so. I wasn't sure at first, but... Yeah, I do. One child. And well, maybe two. But, you know, in a couple of years, once we've had a chance... Why do we have to wait that long? Well, because when I have a child, I want to be sure that I can give it everything. Oh, come on. You're going to be a terrific mother. Well, when I'm ready and when I want to. Well, how long are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Uh... I mean, look, I never even thought I was going to get married. <laughs> I thought maybe, well, by the time I'm 35 or something. But I met you, and it feels right, so here we are. Yes, here we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. But it's still a little weird. Weird? <laughs> yeah. You couldn't just say exciting or fantastic or unbelievable? Well, it's all those things, too. But it's... Definitely weird. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. You know, we haven't finished this discussion. Oh, we have time. Here we go. Well, you stay here, I'll get it. Mm. Sorry, I know I shouldn't be here. I, I know it's late, and it's your honeymoon. But, uh, but this is the worst night of my life. Can I come in? Sure. Celia, I'm honey, sorry. What's wrong? I. <laughs> oh, sit down. Come on, calm down. Well, let me take your coat. I can't. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what happened? You're just gonna get mad at me, and I don't have money for a hotel. I even took the subway all the way here, and I got lost, and I missed the stop. And mm. I know this is terrible, but can I please stay here tonight? Of course you can. Sure you can. You're so nice. You're the only friends I have. Everything is so awful. <laughs> 